Hello again YouTube, um, welcome to my channel, Lovis Wild Camper, I'm Michael, out on another trip to Dartmoor, for a change. Um, just parked up at uh, two bridges and I'm uh, heading out through Wisman's Wood. Love to camp there but you're not allowed to, I've seen people camp there but I try and keep it proper. Um, but I head through there, it's a stunning spot and then uh, Go about three miles and um, pitch up camp. Tigris Smoky Hut Chimney Tent, uh, but I'll put it as a separate video, so that will be, uh, if I can work it out, I'll put it up on the screen, or I'll put a link down at the bottom, but obviously if you're a subscriber you'll get both of these anyway. I was going to do it at home, but just had another chance with work, family, uh, etc, and weather. So today is obviously a blistering hot day, it's supposed to be the hottest of the year. I've chosen my longest walk, so we'll uh, see how it fares. Should be easier than the last one, as in not as many steep scrabbles, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. So I'm just uh, approaching Westman's Wood now, and uh, hoping to head on over to Crow's Tor, um, just to see what it's like there. Possibly head on further down and uh, find somewhere nice and quiet to pitch up. There's quite a few people about today, I can hear. People in the woods, I think they're orienteering or mountaineering or something. Yeah, more shouting. But hopefully, they won't go any further than Wisman Wood. I'll have a peaceful evening. So I'm uh, halfway through. Wisman's Wood, just going around the side of it. Got inside there and uh, was hoping to take some nice videos and photos coming through it, but there was a group of guys sitting down for a break. We were also heading off on a wild camp, so didn't want to disturb them. Still beautiful, but I'll try and get some pictures and uh, videos on the way back because it is a stunning little wood, quite mystical. the Wisband Wood and uh, hopefully there's a nice track through here because I've gone off the path a little bit from View Ranger. When I got to Wisband's Wood it just sort of stopped. I could have turned left or right so I turned left and of course once you're in there you realise you should have turned right. Well live and learn. All the way back, I think I'll uh, do the uh, exterior route. Should be a bit more enjoyable. So, so far, um, I've come from somewhere over there, along this ridge, through Whistons Wood, and down and headed up here. And I follow this route specifically because there's a river all the way along it. So, plenty of sources of water, and I intended to camp further up on the tours next to the water source, so I've got plenty to drink. So far, the whole length of the river has been cordoned off by uh, lovely barbed wire. So I'm hoping that stops <laughs> soon. Otherwise, I might be uh, 
lacerating my legs having to climb over it for for water. Fingers crossed. So uh, I'm not sure what that was, but I just had felt something on my head, squeezed it, or went wiped my head, and got spattered with blood all over my arm and my forehead. So God knows what's attacked me. Didn't even notice it. Probably a tick, and I squashed it inside me. Oh well. We continue on. So I'm just over two miles in now, um, about 2.2. Uh, I thought I'd stop for a quick water break and I'm getting paranoid now that I'm having my face eaten off by something, so I keep checking. But anyway, quick top up, hydrate, and then uh, carry on. It's a hot day. So my view ranger shows the crossing here. Personally, I don't believe it. It's a chance of me getting over that and living to tell the story. View Ranger, you lie. Had to walk back up the river there just to find some extremely precarious stones to hop over. Made it though. Onward and upward. So tonight, um, being boring again, going for burgers. Not quite as good as the other ones. Possibly, who knows? I might be slating Asda's extra special for no reason. Aberdeen Angus steak burgers with some, I don't know how you pronounce this, chipotle, chipotle. Depends which part of South Park you're from, I suppose. So anyway, yeah, I've earned these, starving. It's eight o'clock, it's very late for me. Looking forward to it. So I've left the Trangier at home tonight. Uh, and I'm going with the homemade, well, I can't remember what they call it in America now, some kind of a cat food tin can. It's essentially sweet corn tin inside a tuna tin with some uh, felt around the outside. Works really, really well. Um, I've tried it at home, not out here, so fingers crossed it works. With my burgers, I was thinking that because the flame comes around the outside edges as well, It'll give a better spread um, on my pot because the trench is very centered in the middle. So you find you have to keep moving the burgers about to, to get it to cook properly. So we'll see how this goes. And there you go, she's a light, flaming well. See how it works with the burgers. There is uh, air holes that I've put in the side of it so it doesn't build up. So it should work. I have used it before. I'll bring you back and if it's exploded, I won't. So yeah, they are sizzling away nicely. Definitely uh, working better than the Trangia. You can see it's really spreading the flame out across across the pan. So yeah, it's a good little uh, good little stove that. And this time, instead of using my knife and fork to flip them over, this might sound a bit snobby, but I've got a Joseph and Joseph. Uh, it's an old spatula, and I just ripped the handle off. I was going to cut it, but I just pulled the handle out, and it came out quite easily shoddily made Joseph and Joseph but it's nice and small and light now and I can use that to uh, flip the burgers when they're ready smells awesome Starting to melt nicely. I've got some uh, chipata rolls, chipata rolls. Um, just tried a bit of that uh, chipotle, chipotle cheddar. Um, it is hot and it's got a good kick to it. So I'm glad I've uh, just dragged my chilled thatches out of the river. Nice to find it. I thought I'd lost it, <laughs> but I got it. So I'm just uh, enjoying the sunset now, it's getting a bit, it's starting to get dark. Beautiful. 
beautiful sunset. Doesn't really pick it up here that well. Not too bad. So I've discovered that my wife isn't <coughs> as into the wild camping as I thought she might be. Uh, obviously, I mentioned on the, my first read about uh, I would like the um, Hernox uh, chair zero for Christmas, which is quite expensive. But um, been sitting on a little foam seat pad the last two trips, so getting a bit painful. So seeing as she doesn't watch, I snuck out and I bought this, which is the Robins Geographic little stall. It weighs about 300 grams, 20 quid. Um, it's actually really good. The the base of it has got some thick um, feet on the bottom, so even on the marshy ground around here, it doesn't sink down into it. I weigh just under 100 kilos. Um, it takes my weight quite easily. Yes, it's only a, a three-legged stool, but it's better than sitting on a rock, as they say, and it's comfy. So yeah, recommend that. Nice and cheap, slips inside the bag, weighs next to nothing. I've not done as much uh, filming today, it's been a good a good walk, I've had a nice chill out, been up to the uh, top of the tour, watched the sunset, sat there and had my um, my Thatcher's Haze cider after my burgers, which was good, so I'm just going to chill out now, gonna, well I've got the, got the kettle on, uh, going to have a hot chocolate, the uh, cat can stove down here is working really well, it's very quick. Um, boils, burns really hot, uh, hotter than the trend here, but uh, obviously it uses uh, more fuel as well as a result of that, but there you go, that's a trade-off. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my hot chocolate. Right, it's time for bed, so uh, hopefully I get a good night's sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning YouTube. Um, just woke up, just gone 7 o'clock, bit of a lame for me that, camping, which is nice. Missed the sunrise completely, obviously. Um, yes, I get some uh, get some water boiling there. I get a cup of coffee and uh, yeah, have a relax. Lovely, lovely little spot here. It was a good night's sleep. A bit of condensation in the tent, but not too bad. Um, it's pretty dry, so I'm going to have a cup of coffee, get some breakfast on, and then get packed up. It's quite weird down here. There's I have absolutely zero signal on my phone. I've been trying to text my wife and it doesn't work. But if I walk up literally just to the top of that hill there, which is only probably 40, 50 feet above me, I get a full 4G. How does that work? Weird. Anyway, get the kettle on. Right, so water's boiled. I'm gonna try a, a new one today. Taylor's coffee bags. Roast number six. That's all them. Quite cheap. I'll give them a go. See what they taste like.
This is the uh, Roven stool that I was uh, I mentioned yesterday. Um, yeah, it's a good bit of kit. It's it's nice and lightweight. It's it's very thin when you when you fold it up. <clears throat> Packs up very small, but as I say, as you can see, the feet are quite. I've got quite a good footprint, um, so they don't sink in. And as I say, I'm not the lightest person. It takes my weight and then just drops down to that. So it's nice and thin, so it just slips inside the bag, like the poles, next to the poles. Um, and yeah, it's not as good as a seat with a back, but it's lighter and uh, a lot cheaper and uh, it's comfy. Yeah, it's not a bad coffee, that. I recommend them. Easy bags, um, quite cheap, and uh, yeah, makes a decent brew. So I decided I'd change a plan this morning. Um, yesterday I came sort of across, well, below that ridge, um, down to the river there, came across and, and then up around this way. Um, but I'm going to try a different track. There's a couple of spots along the river here with rocks that I can get across. So I'm going to get across and then head up to there. I don't know what that is, I can't see it on my map. It doesn't show us at all, but it looks quite good. So I'm going to go across there and then down the other side. Um, it looks like there's a, there is a track heading that way um, and follow it. It means I'll miss out Wisman's Wood on the way back. But um, Wisman's Wood was uh, a bit complex to get through. Yeah, very, very rocky, huge boulders. Um, and it's a bit of a trek back. So I'm going to try that way, see what it's like. So looking on the map, I believe that is Higher White Tor. And that, I think, is Longer Ford Tor. So I'll get out there and uh, try and climb the rock, get some pictures. And it'll, uh, it'll point me out and if I am in the right place. That'll be my first three tours that I've done. I've been quite impressed with this uh, little homemade stove that obviously costs nothing. Um, <clears throat> Fancy Feast stove is what they call it in America, which is the name of the cat tin that they use. But let's say I just used a, a tuna tin. Inside is a uh, sweet corn tin you have to draw some holes in the top of the sweet corn tin to make sure that you can get the uh, let the gas escape otherwise it can build up and explode on you um, and then I literally just put some uh, insulation uh, like roofing insulation loft insulation around the outside edges of it to soak up the, uh, the alcohol and it performs really well it's quite windy but it's a little bit windy here you can see my flimsy uh, windshield bouncing about but it boils water really quickly cooks food well so say it uses a bit more fuel than a trangier would but um it's done really good for cooking and uh, and boiling water and it's completely free as long as you eat tuna and sweet corn well they say uh, a watched pot never boils but i beg to differ it's not a like rolling boil, but that's uh, hot enough for coffee. You don't really want it any, any hotter anyway. Should be 90 degrees, not that I've got a temperature gauge. Um, a little tip with this type of stove. As you can see, it's quite, quite raucous, the flame. Um, and it will continue to burn out. So if you want to save fuel to use it again, I just use one of my pans, pop it over the top. And snuffs it out. Coffee number two. They are good these coffee bags. They really taste nice. I would highly recommend them. Let that brew for a couple of minutes and get another coffee down me. I had a good night's sleep but I uh, feel like I could do with a a couple of coffees this morning. I do drink uh, quite a few of them. Sheep are around. There's quite a few sheep last night milling around the tent, which is always a bit eerie when you hear crunching footsteps around, but 
<clears throat> it was a nice relaxing evening and uh, I had a pretty good sleep actually in the end. Woke up about five and uh, yeah, nodded off again. Woke up at seven. Right, so that's washing up done. Water refueled. Uh, Got to pack up the tent next and uh, start the walk back. Been using this MSR trail shot for a while now, and it's okay, but it is a slow rate on it to fill up. Uh, it's quite arduous when you're hanging off the edge of the, hanging off into the water. A um, bit of a backbreaker, so I might look at. Uh, a different system so it's a bit quicker and easier to fill up there's a few out there but there's there's one particular one that i like but it's supposed to be really quick so i might look at changing that but it's done me good so far so going back to the uh fancy feast stove this is my cook kit my little cheap pot set that i bought about a fiver um it fits nicely inside there it's taller than the transier and probably a few grams heavier nothing drastic but it fits inside with everything that i need in one little set the only thing that doesn't fit in is this it's a bit too long but it's obviously very thin and narrow it takes up little space in the in a pack so yeah works well okay so that's me all packed up leave no trace that's where i slept last night so I'm going to head off now and try and find a, uh, a route across the river and then up along here to that tour and down the other side, about three and a half mile trip back. Wish me luck. So it looks like that is a Longerford tour. So I'm going to head on to there and see if I can get to the top of it, which would be fun. Looking forward to a bit of a climb, get the views from the summit. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I'm there. And uh, yeah, one of the main reasons why I did this, I was influenced quite heavily by other YouTubers going wild camping, and in particular, uh, Trev and Nath from Summit or Nothing. And I'm sure if you've come across, managed to come across my little channel, you definitely have seen theirs. So, no need for a shout out, but <coughs> yeah, it's been a year brilliant for me to get out and, and do these things. So, I'm loving it, enjoying it, getting a bit of, bit of fitness in. So uh, yeah, in uh, in honour of Summit or Nothing, Novice Wild Camper! Yeah, watching that back in retrospect, I probably won't do it again. Sorry Trev. So I made it up onto this little tour. Beautiful spot here. I'm getting bombarded by horse flies. What's going on? So I'm not staying up here very long. I think that's possibly what bit me and I spattered earlier on because I found a couple that have been chewing on my leg as well. Um, yeah, if anyone sort of points out that I didn't get to the very top of Langerford Tour, they're right, I was virtually up it, but uh, the last bit was a bit too steep for me. Uh, but I'm at the top of this one, stunning views, beautiful spot. Set for the damn flies. Not sure why they're up here, it's windy. 
there's not much for them. But they like me. Right, I'm off. So my six-year-old son would love this. Bubblegum flavoured sheep. You'll actually eat something if it was bubblegum flavoured. Morning blue sheep. Just realised I've gone past Wisman's Wood. Didn't notice it the other side of the valley. It's only small but very picturesque when you're in there. Maybe another day I'll get some uh, some better photos and video of it. <clears throat> Seeing those sheep, it does make me wonder. Obviously, they belong to a farmer. They're marked blue for the owner. How the hell do you come out here and round them up? Some over there. Some down there. Rather him than me, or her. I'm not far from the car now, so uh, I'm going to call it the end. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, click subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. Helps me out. It's starting to beg now. Um, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If um, any questions or comments, please put them in the section below. I'll leave some links below as well for my um, equipment and also for the review um, and the modifications I've done on the tent. And uh, yeah, if you got this far, thank you for persevering and watching the video. And I'll uh, see you again soon. Cheers guys.